The Large Electron-Positron Collider was one of the largest particle accelerators ever constructed. It was built at CERN, a multinational center for research in nuclear and particle physics near Geneva, Switzerland. LEP collided electrons with positrons at energies that reached 209 GeV. It was a circular collider with a circumference of 27 km built in a tunnel roughly 100 meters underground and passing through Switzerland and France. LEP was used from 1989 until 2000. Around 2001 it was dismantled to make way for the LHC, which reused the LEP tunnel. To date, LEP is the most powerful accelerator of leptons ever built. Collider Background LEP was a circular lepton collider, the most powerful such ever built. For context, modern colliders can be generally categorized based on their shape and on what types of particles they accelerate and collide. Leptons are point particles and are relatively light. Because they are point particles, their collisions are clean and amenable to precise measurements, however, because they are light. The collisions cannot reach the same energy that can be achieved with heavier particles. Hadrons are composite particles and are relatively heavy. Protons, for example, have a mass 2,000 times greater than electrons. Because of their higher mass, they can be accelerated to much higher energies, which is the key to directly observing new particles or interactions that are not predicted by currently accepted theories. However, hadron collisions are very messy, and therefore more challenging to analyze and less amenable to precision measurements. The shape of the collider is also important. High-energy physics colliders collect particles into bunches, and then collide the bunches together. However, only a very tiny fraction of particles in each bunch actually collide. In circular colliders, these bunches travel around a roughly circular shape in opposite directions and therefore can be collided over and over. This enables a high rate of collisions and facilitates collection of a large amount of data, which is important for precision measurements or for observing very rare decays. However, the energy of the bunches is limited due to losses from synchrotron radiation. In linear colliders, particles move in a straight line and therefore do not suffer from synchrotron radiation. But bunches cannot be reused and it is therefore more challenging to collect large amounts of data. As a circular lepton collider, LEP was well suited for precision measurements of the electroweak interaction at energies that were not previously achievable. History when the LEP Collider started operation in August 1989 it accelerated the electrons and positrons to a total energy of 45 GeV each to enable production of the Z boson, which has a mass of 91 GeV. The accelerator was upgraded later to enable production of a pair of W bosons, each having a mass of 80 GeV. LEP Collider energy eventually topped at 209 GeV at the end in 2000. At a Lorentz factor of over 200,000, LEP still holds the particle accelerator speed record, extremely close to the limiting speed of light. At the end of 2000, LEP was shut down and then dismantled in order to make room in the tunnel for the construction of the Large Hadron Collider operation. The superproton synchrotron was used to accelerate electrons and positrons to nearly the speed of light. These are then injected into the ring. As in all ring colliders, the LEP's ring consists of many magnets which force the charged particles into a circular trajectory. RF accelerators which accelerate the particles with radio frequency waves, and quadrupoles that focus the particle beam. The function of the accelerators is to increase the particle's energy so that heavy particles can be created when the particles collide. When the particles are accelerated to maximum energy, an electron and a positron bunch is made to collide with each other at one of the collision points of the detector. When an electron and a positron collide, they annihilate to a virtual particle, either a photon or a Z boson. The virtual particle almost immediately decays into other elementary particles, which are then detected by huge particle detectors. Detectors the Large Electron-Positron Collider had four detectors built around the four collision points within underground halls. 
Each was the size of a small house and was capable of registering the particles by their energy, momentum and charge, thus allowing physicists to infer the particle reaction that had happened and the elementary particles involved. By performing statistical analysis of this data, knowledge about elementary particle physics is gained. The four detectors of LEP were called ALEF, Delphi, Opal, and L3. They were built differently to allow for complementary experiments. ALEF ALEF stands for Apparatus for LEP Physics at CERN. The detector determined the mass of the W boson and Z boson to within one part in a thousand. The number of families of particles with light neutrinos was determined to be 7000298200000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000